1,899 in Afghanistan, Wikipedia article audio. The following lists events that happened during 1,899 in Afghanistan. Not for many years has Afghanistan been less disturbed than this year. Few tribal risings occur and the Emir Abdurrahman continues to express friendly relations with Britain. Yet there is a disquieting rumor that Russia is preparing to advance on Herat in certain eventualities, and that an experimental mobilization of Russian troops from Tiflis to Kusht was made at the close of the year. The Emir keeps up a friendly correspondence with the Viceroy, Lord Curzon, during the year, and the relations between Afghanistan and the Indian government were never more cordial. Several small disturbances are created along the frontier by marauding bands of Waziris and Masids, which are easily suppressed by the local militia without aid from regular troops. Capt. George Ruskeppel makes a sudden attack on a predatory band of Chamkanis that have been raiding in the Kurm Valley and captures 100 prisoners with 3,000 head of cattle. These raids, the tiresome, are, however, of no political importance. In consequence of repeated outrages committed by the Waziris, and especially because of the murder of Carl E. H. Lee Marchants of the Hampshire Regiment, the Indian government orders the partial disarmament of the Peshawar Division, and of all trans-border Pashtuns at the frontier, and the disarmament of all persons without licenses in all municipalities and cantonments within the division. In spite of punitive measures, the Waziri robbers continue their lawless attacks, chiefly with a view to cattle raiding. In accordance with the frontier policy of the Viceroy, all regular troops are withdrawn from the Khyber Pass to Peshawar, leaving the forts and posts in the pass to be guarded by the Khyber Rifles. Complete tranquility prevails in consequence, and the Afridis and other local tribes are thereby convinced that the government has no idea of annexing their territory or replacing British garrisons over the border.